Hello my friends. Well this Honda GX160, GCV160, excuse me, came in and the back axle's bracket is broken. And over here I have prepped it. It is beveled and ready to go. It was welded once before. I took all the old weld off, most of it. There's a little tiny bit of old weld right there. That's okay. And it's the exact opposite of this one. Right there. And it broke right in the center to that way, across that way, which is that break right there. I'm going to try and weld it with uh, AC weld 6013, probably somewhere around 95 to 100 amps. But I'm going to fiddle around first. I don't want to just attack it with the welder. That's not what you do. You do a couple of test shots. And uh, we'll just put you up here. That should work. Now I need welding gloves. I'm going to close the garage door a little bit so we don't blind anybody. Put my welding tooth on. And we're going to just do a couple of strokes with a new rod. Turn on the welder. This table should be grounded. And we'll just do a couple. That's about what we want. But I don't want to do both sides full because it'll warp. So I'm just going to try it right here in the obvious spot. I wonder if I should start up. Nope, I'll start in the middle. Like a, a big tack. Now we're going to turn it over. Hopefully she bit. And I'm going to do the same thing, but different. I want to make sure. Yeah, I don't think it's it's deformed it anyway. I'm going to do it over here. Now I'm going to clean it up a little bit. Turn it over again. And we'll just keep teasing this. And then we'll grind it back and then do another bead on top. Oh, we got to clean it up. I should do it. I might just put a tiny bit more jute. No, let's. Hard to say, huh? Do I turn it up a little bit? It's pretty hot. That's pretty good. Turn it over and finish it off. It's hotter than a pistol now.
open that door. Get some breeze through here. I think I'm going to use a cup brush to start. I don't want to cool it off too much. Do you think it's penetrated all the way? I think it's a good looking weld. Okay guys, this is what I've ended up with and I've ground it all flat again. I'm going to re-weld it. There's a little bit in there that didn't take, but I'm really happy with it. It looked better before I ground it, but that's fine. So I'm going to ground this. This side can stay lumpy, but this side has to be pretty clean up against the flange. So let's do it again. Whew, that thing is still hot. Okay, eye protection. Close the door. Wind is your enemy. And then I'm going to grind it really carefully next time. And this should be about enough rod. Turn the welder on. Mask down. off the slag now. And it only needs a touch up. Did I miss it? We'll see. I'm going to try one more. Off to the left there and off to the right there. Good. I'm going to be happy with that. Let that cool a little bit and I'll be right back. Too fun. Okay, I'm going to be traveling a little faster. I don't need much of a path on this one because this side has to be ground smooth. Yeah. I'm almost tempted to leave this and travel along the edge of the collar. Oh, 
doesn't get any better than that. I'm going to buzz that slag off there while it's hot. Did I miss anything? Darn it. Yes, I did. I think I missed a little tiny bit right in there. Oh, that's so hard to do. I'm going to put a little bit of gravity feed on that and do it again. I'm fussy. When it comes to welding, I'm fussy. Too much, I'll have to grind it. <clears throat> oh, I'm having a hard time getting into that one spot. There must have been some dirt or something in there. But it'll grind out. Okay, we need a new stone for the grinder, I believe. Yes, sir. Okay. Do I take it to the bench grinder? I think so. I want to turn you guys off and I'm going to take this to the bench grinder now. And you'll see the difference. All right, well, let's go to the light, I guess. Nothing left but a stinky cleanup. There's the piece. This is, this is the side that was uh, cracked. It was cracked from here down to here. Remember that? Right? It was, oh, I'm sorry. It was cracked from there down through here along the edge of that fitting. But I think it's pretty full. Might even be stronger than when it was made. So it's, uh, don't forget guys, it's uh, this one. Nope, I'll do it right. Uh, this one in a mirrored image. There's the old one. There's the new one. I'm happy. I think it's gonna work. I guess what I should do is put it in the vise and slap it with a hammer a little bit, eh? We'll see. Ooh, that was a tough one. Thanks, guys. Welding is never easy for an amateur, right? I should say, welding is never easy for an amateur. See, I got the door closed so the neighbors can't see in and get an eye damage. Okay, here's my piece. On this side, I painted it. Uh, I ground off as much weld as I could because uh, it goes up against the flat of the of the mower with a with a ridge key. I might even have to grind that little tiny ripple off there. Do you see it right there in the center? And then this side, I left the bead on. This is about the third weld, so it's been welded along that crack three times. I think it's probably stronger than when it was made. Looks pretty good, I think, eh? When you think about what it's going to do. Sorry about that. Anybody who knows anything about welding knows that AC welding is a little harder than uh, the others. But it was nice thick steel and it took it took the heat well. So, I'm lucky. All right, this is the Honda. We're going to first attach if we can. <laughs> One of the Split pins here. All right. I don't know. I'll have to see. My light's not that great, or my eyes aren't that great. Okay, now we gotta get the light right in there. So right down here. Oh, well, it's okay. 
Okay, that's good. That's good. <laughs> I never expected that might happen. I don't want to let go of that. Ah, there we go. Ah, I heard it click. Yep, that's going to do it. Okay. Now we turn this back this way. We'll get them set in better once we're cl once we're clipped in. Whew. You have a seat right beside me, guys. We need a cotter pin for the shell after we put the groover in. has gone out of the springy. Good. Now, I just have to get the shaft all the way up. Ah, <clears throat> oh, you dirty bugger. I know what I'm going to do. Seat beside you. Cotter pin that'll fit in there. I think that might work. Yay! Good. Excellent. Now we just have to make sure that these clips are clipped. And the ones I'm talking about are these ones right here. Right there. Right there. Okay, this looks simple, but it wasn't. Whew. I'm not happy that that is a little... Well, I guess it's all right. I think I bent this. You know what I did? I actually did do this. The other way. Whoops. The other way. There we go. Do 
Did you hear that good click? And good. I wonder what size a uh, Wawa wah -wah socket that is, Wawa. lever and the throttle lever was sticky but it still seems to work. So let's go. Okay, so here's the choke mechanism. Up until that point, it's throttle, and then when you see that lever right there move up, that right there is the choke, which goes to there. You might be able to see it. So that's pretty good. I just oiled it. So I'm just going to fiddle with the choke a little more. Okay, here we go. I've just taken this apart. I've, I've uh, tested and verified the cable. The cable does move, and I put some oil down there. So now this is the bottom piece. This clip goes in that groove right there. And then you just find the place where it is round, and that clips in. And then this just clips back on top of it thus so carefully without breaking anything. Yay! And then we put it back on the machine and the bolt is still in the handlebars. Okay, so that was a 20 minute job and I didn't have to lay on my back. Okay, uh, machine, tool. <laughs> so let's just show the operator finishing the process. Now, careful, Bruce, this is metal with plastic. I'm going to get a quarter of a turn, and I watched the, I watched the letters on the, on the shaft. There. Yeah, that's good. Still spins, but not broken. Okay, now let's see how our choke is working. doesn't stay down though. And I just heard my garbage cans get blown over. Did you guys hear that? So I'm going to go bring them in. Alright, here we go on the Honda Quadra Cup. Certainly looks different than when it came in, eh? <laughs> All four wheels roll. And uh, I think it runs. Uh, I haven't uh, tried it yet this morning, so we'll go full choke. was broken, the uh, uh, undercarriage, when I straightened it out, pardon me, when I straightened it out, it, it actually was hitting the blade after I straightened it out, so I had to go beat on that a little bit more, you didn't see that, but now it, it looks pretty darn, it looks pretty darn respectable. Those are good mowers.
Thanks for watching.